Patricia Carroll from Tyrone Productions contacted me asking me to do the music because they'd heard my music before. They thought that the style that I write in and the orchestral style would, would suit well for um, The Hunger. It was very collaborative um, work from the very beginning. It's one of those situations where a happy relationship that developed of like-minded people. So I'd get the visuals and I would write the music and then I would send it and they would have a listener like, oh, we like that, we like that. And then we just edited back and forth. It was a very instinctual gut reaction to what I was seeing on screen that influenced how I would write. A lot of composers, what we do is we use a thing called samples, which are sample libraries of recorded instruments. But with this, I was very, very fortunate and very happy to work with the RTE Concert Orchestra. So that was an amazing experience to have live strings to just lift the score even more than just with samples. It was all, all my own music. I, I just had two pieces that um, I didn't write. They were traditional Irish pieces that I had two musicians interpret themselves. Strangely enough, you know, I got this during um, the beginning of the pandemic. So I had a lot of time to myself in the studio to write the music, which I think was important for, for this documentary. Huge gratitude to RTE. They were absolutely amazing in ensuring safety. I cried watching the documentary and, and writing the music because it affected me so deeply. I've always needed a concept or a story to write music. So for me personally, I felt very honored. The whole visual and audio and story really meshed really well together. It was a real collaborative effort. So I hope that that is portrayed as well when people see it.